A recently unveiled Iranian missile, described by its makers as being the Islamic Republic's first domestically made hypersonic weapon, does indeed pose a threat to Israel, yet contrary to Iranian claims there are defense systems that can stop it, according to a leading Israeli missile expert. Tal Inbar, a senior research fellow at the Missile Defense Advocacy Alliance, a non-profit organization that promotes public support for missile defense systems, told JNS on Wednesday that the claims being made by Iran about the missile's features, range, and precision appear to be true. The missile, he said, is a new product, that has no equivalent in the world. It can open, for Iran, a new operational door. He added, however, that in his assessment the missile was still in the flight trial phase. This is a real missile that formed out of Iranian planning, which displays original thinking alongside impressive technical capability, he said. However, he added, regarding the claim that it can surpass any active defense system that's inaccurate. On June 6, Iranian state media released images of the Fatah missile at a ceremony attended by Iranian President Ebrahim Raisi and senior commanders from the Iranian Revolutionary Guards Corps. The precision-guided Fatah hypersonic missile has a range of 1,400 km and it is capable of penetrating all defense shields, said Amirali Hajizadeh, the head of the IRGC Aerospace Force, according to Reuters. Hypersonic missiles fly at least five times faster than the speed of sound, and have non-predictable trajectories, making them harder to intercept compared to standard ballistic missiles. The FATA missile has a re-entry vehicle the part of the weapon that re-enters the atmosphere from space, with four steering fins, and is powered by a solid rocket motor. It can bypass the most advanced anti-ballistic missile systems of the United States and the Zionist regime, including Israel's Iron Dome, according to Iranian state TV, which claimed that its top speed is Mach 14, or just over 9,300 miles per hour. A Western source told JNS that the missile likely means Iran will be less dependent on North Korea for future missile development, and that it creates new challenges for Israel with regard to threat detection. Israel's Aero 3 air defense system intercepts ballistic threats in space, while the Aero 2 operates in the upper atmosphere. The David Sling system operates below the Aero 2, an Iron Dome defense against aerial threats further down, creating a multi-tier defense system that is described by many observers as being the most advanced in the world. In February 2021, the Israeli Defense Ministry announced that it had begun developing Aero 4, the next generation Israeli air defense system, which will operate both above and within the atmosphere. Few other details have been released about it to date, including whether it can deal with hypersonics. The Western source noted that hypersonic missiles undermine air defense systems' ability to be selective, reducing the available time in which to select the most pressing threat in a multiple attack situation. Iran possesses the Middle East's largest and most varied missile program, and is also building an arsenal of unmanned aerial vehicles, like the Shad-136, which Russia has used against Ukraine. The Shad UAVs have small warheads but are precise, long-range threats.
Iran's terror proxy Hezbollah is assessed to possess more than 200,000 missiles and rockets of various types. In late February, Haji Zadeh said that the American military bases in the Middle East are meet between Iran's teeth and that the U.S. Navy forces in the Indian Ocean, the Red Sea, and the Mediterranean are worthless because they are within the 2,000 km range of Iran's missiles. On May 25, Iran unveiled the new long-range ballistic missile Kabar with a range of 2,000 km and can carry a warhead as heavy as 1,500 kg. This is the latest entry in the Korum's Har family of ballistic missiles. The Kabar precision guided missile can reportedly hit a speed of Mach 8, around 9,541 km per hour, when in Earth's atmosphere and Mach 12, 14,312 km per hour, when it leaves the atmosphere. Haji Zadeh revealed some other features of Kabar on May 29, saying only one missile is fired but when it reaches its target, it hits as many as 80 targets at one time. It means that, if we fire 80 missiles of this variant, as many as 8,000 targets are hit in the enemy's lands, he said. Hypersonic missiles can fly at least five times faster than the speed of sound and on a complex trajectory, which makes them difficult to intercept. Western governments worry that satellite launch systems incorporate technologies interchangeable with those used in ballistic missiles capable of delivering a nuclear warhead, while Iran has always denied this.